So, welcome po sa Aghamalayan. Ngayon po ang discussion natin is related about related sa linear kinematics. Ang ating scope for linear kinematics is focus on the three kinematic equations and free fall. Doon lang ikot ang ating discussion. We'll start with introducing the first three kinematic equations. The three kinematic equations ay nagmula lang siya sa ating formula ng velocity. Wherein V is velocity na meters per second, D is distance over time, which their standard values is meter and seconds na gagamitin natin all throughout. Gamit itong equation na ito, pwede natin siya i-abbreviate to our first kinematic equation na final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration multiplied to time or simply V is equal to V0 plus AT. At ito ang ibig sabihin naman ng kada, kada signs. Second kinematic equation naman natin is focus on distance wherein distance is equal to initial velocity times time plus one half a t square or d is equal to v naught times t plus one half a t square si v naught kasi parang initial velocity lang siya then v is our final velocity d is for distance v i or v naught is initial velocity t time and acceleration i i a, meter per second square. Ito yung ating mga standard values na gagamitin. So, daman ay ang third kinematic equation. And our final, which is Vf square is equal to Vi square plus 2AD. Or, V square is equal to V naught square plus 2AD. Vf is final velocity. Vi or V naught is our initial velocity then acceleration and distance as usual same same rin pa rin ang ating standard na gagamitin values which is meters per second meter per second square and meters most likely ito ay lalabas for prelims examinations and kapag na memorize niyo na to ito na yung magiging perfect guide to pass perf prelims examinations And next naman natin is samples. Dito sa kinematic equation na to, bibigyan ko kayo ng 3 examples. Easy, medium, and hard levels. First ay A ball rolling down a hill was displaced 25.1 meters while uniformly accelerating from rest. If the final velocity is 6.2 meters per second, what was the rate of acceleration? So dito, given tayo ng 25.1 meters, which is our displacement or simply our distance. Next naman, given naman tayo ng 6.2 meters per second bilang ang ating velocity, final velocity. At dahil stated dito sa ating question na from rest, meaning our initial velocity or vi or v0 is cancelled which is explained by our given so ito solution natin ang given natin is distance of 25.1 meters and final velocity is 6.2 meters ang hinahanap natin based on our question is our acceleration ang ating solution dito ang gagamitin natin is ang ating third kinematic equation which is Vf square is equal to Vi square plus 2AD. Bakit ito? Since ang hinahanap natin is acceleration and we don't have time, ang best na magagamit rin equation is third kinematic. Since ang first kinematic equation and second kinematic equation, need natin dyan ang value ng time, which we don't have. Ngayon, kinansel ko dito ang aking Vi. Dahil sa, siya ay at starts at rest, meaning the value of Vi is zero. So, patitira na lang is Vf square is equal to 2AD. Next, di-divide ko ang 2, 2D sa ilalim ng 2AD para malipat siya sa Vf square and ma-isolate natin si acceleration as shown here. Yan. 
para malipat natin si 2 din dito sa kabila next naman na gagawin is vf square next naman is input values na lang wherein our final velocity is 6.2 meters squared and our distance is 25.1 meters simply input to the calculator then makukuha natin ang ating final answer which is 961 over 1,255 meters per second square. Yun ang ating acceleration for this given problem. Or simply, 0.7657 meter per second square estimated as our acceleration. Tip, when kapag ginagawa natin decimal ang ating answers, at least for decimal places, no matter how long. Pero as much as possible, if i-continuous pa natin, ilagay natin lahat ng decimal places na lalabas sa ating calculator to avoid discrepancies. So, ito naman ang next problem natin. Problem number 2. A bike rider accelerates uniformly at 3.5 meters per second square for 15 seconds. If the rider starts from rest, calculate the distance traveled in the 9th second. So, ang hahanapin natin dito is ang distance at travel ng rider at the 9 seconds. Given that, ginawa daw niya yung acceleration 3.5 meters per second square ng 15 seconds. As shown here. Ito yung ating magiging acceleration and this is the total time na ginawa niya yung acceleration na yun. Pero in this question, ang hinanap na natin is ang kanyang distance during the 9th second. With that, ang ating given dyan is time na 9 seconds and acceleration na 3.5 meters per second square. Ang hinahat natin is the distance during the 9 second. Ang solution na gagamitin natin dyan is our second kinematic equation. Since given na tayo ng time and acceleration, ngayon paano itong initial velocity? Since it's nag-start daw siya from rest, siya ay cancel na lang given na makakasal rin yung katabi yung time. Like sa 0 times, no matter what value yung time nyo, is 0 pa rin. Kaya matitila natin is d is equal to 1 half 80 square. Then, it's just input values na lang. Kaya, 3.5 times 9 square over 2. Since kapag tinimes natin 80 square sa 1, ang lalabas pa rin ay 80 square. Tapos, input na sa calculator, then we'll get an answer of 141.75 meters exact. Yan yung ating total displacement during the 9 second, the 9 seconds na nag-travel siya na with an acceleration of 3.5 meters per second square. Next problem naman. Problem number 3. Ito ay medyo hard, pero pag, na, pag na-solve nyo na to, this focus kasi is on manipulating formulas na hindi lang nagbe-base tayo sa mismong formula na given sa atin sa kinematic na pwede pang umikot sa iba't ibang bagay. As stated here, problem number 3, an overspeeding car is moving constantly at 18 meters per second when it passed by a police officer. 3 seconds after the car passed by, the police officer starts off pursuit of the car with an acceleration of 2.1 meter per second square. If the police officer was uniformly accelerating during the pursuit, how long will it take him to catch up with the overspeeding car and how much distance has the police officer traveled when he ca caught up with the car? So medyo marami-rami yung hanapin natin dito. Pero ilan lang given natin? Una is a car that's being chased na ito travel constantly at 18 meters per second. After that, meron din tayong given na at 3 seconds bago daw makarespond ang police officer before catching up with the car. Then ang police officer daw, nung kinakat, nahabol niya ng kotse, nag accelerate daw siya ng 2.1 meter per second square constantly. Ang hinahanap natin dito is 
time time kung, kung gaano siya katagal hinabol ng police officer o and kung gaano kalayo na travel ng police officer na nakatch up na siya with that ang given natin dito is of constant velocity which is given by the sign V 18 meters per second and, and the acceleration of the police officer na 2.1 meter per second square dalawa required natin dito the time it takes and the distance the police officer travel the solution here is first our second kinematic equation dahil sa may given ta di natin alam yung distance pero gi given tayo ng velocity and time and with this pwede natin tong i-substitute yung distance ng v times t plus 3 ngayon bakit t plus 3 dahil sa itong 3 sec itong 3 na to nanggaling to dun sa time bago mag-response mag-respond yung police officer and t is the time it takes the car being chased to travel the same distance as the police officer catch since yung police officer nga daw ay nag start at rest makakansel na natin itong VIT medyo nakakalito pero to simplify para nangyari lang dyan is D is equal to D we have two distance formulas go back to the sinabi ko sa simula na ang formulas ng kinematic equation ay nanggaling lang rin sa V is equal to distance over time wherein, ang ginawa ko lang dito in-equate ko yung is D to VT plus 3 seconds due to that tinik na 3 seconds ang police officer bago mag as shown in here in this formula next naman input values since itong velocity na to at yung Itong din na to is for the car being chased. Ito naman is for the police officer. Since itong velocity natin ay constant, so may 18 meters per second time constant dito sa car being chased. At constant rin ng acceleration ng police officer which is 2.1 meters per second square. So in-input natin. Ngayon, nung nawawa na time time. So let's simplify the equation. Dinistribute ko yung t and 3 sa 18. So, lumabas ay 18t plus 54. Then, I times 1 half to 2.1. So, lumabas is 1.05t square. Then, we can arrange this to an, to an equation. So, meron tayong ganitong equation na pwede nating isimplify using our calculators. Ang pinaka-best way para ma- Kung hindi ito kaya simplify ng mano-mano, sa calculator, meron tayong tinatawag na shortcut method na ginagamit namin. Pupunta kayo sa mode 5 equation, then use number 3 to get the answer of T1 and T2. Wherein, T1 is the best answer. Bakit? Dahil simula tayong time na negative. So, itong T2 natin is redundant. hindi ito yung ating gagamitin. Ang ginamit natin is itong T1 natin, which is 19.7472 seconds. Then, we'll nakuha na natin ating time. Remember, sa paggawa ko ng, sa pag-solve ko ng formula dito, dalawa na yung ginamit ko dito. Dalawang, yung sa dalawang cars na. Una, yung D, which is the car being chased, na ginawa kong VT to substitute the formula. Then next, is the kinematic formula na ginamit ko for the police car. Then, I just make it into an equation. Then, find the two roots of this equation, which is T1, T2, wherein T1 ang ginamit natin to have our time. Next, ang hanapin natin is distance traveled by the police car. Since may time na tayo, kung gaano katagal hinabol ng police car, ang ang car being chased kaya na natin hanapin kung gaano kalayo ang distance na tinravel niya again, since ang police car natin ay start from rest tanggal agad si VIT cancel siya then we just 
input our values na 2.1 and yung time na nakuha natin dito sa T1 makukuha na natin sa sagot na ang total distance na travel ng car is 409 meters approximately medyo mouthful itong problem na to pero pag naggets gets na ito ay magiging simple magiging madali na kailangan lang dito is tamang tamang manipulation of formulas na given every formula or every kind of formulas na alam nyo pwede na yung gamitin dito sa kinematics ngayon naman natapos natin itong problem number 3 pwede nyo i-go back muna and review yung mga sinabi ko kanina or i-post nyo to and analyze the solution before moving on like sa next naman is focus on vertical motion ito kasi ay nag-focus lang tayo sa horizontal plane or x plane as we say ngayon naman y axis naman tayo which is called linear vertical motion or free fall pag linear vertical motion ang best example dito is a ball bouncing straight upwards and straight downwards katulad doon sa picture na nakita niyo kanina sa linear kinematics kotse ang ginamit kong best example because yun na yung nagtatravel horizontally. Ngayon ang isang ball kasi, as it goes up, as it was released from your hand, na binato mo straight upwards, nakakuha siya ng maximum initial velocity. Then, pipigilan siya ng acceleration. Where in the acceleration is yung gravity. Which is, nakikita niyo dito. Kapag na-reach na ng bola ang kanyang highest point, wala na siyang final velocity. Final velocity becomes zero. And acceleration becomes positive. Dahil kasi, ang acceleration mo ngayon ay nagpe-favor sa'yo. Unlike dito sa unang, sa pagkabato mo sa taas, nagiging siya yung hindi nagpe-favor. Dahil kasi siya yung nagpapabagal sa bola. As the ball goes down, or bago siya, mata, bago siya ma-reach yung point na, exact point ng ikakatch mo siya, yun yung pinakabilis niya, which is final velocity. To simplify, ang acceleration natin ay magiging g, wherein it is acceleration due to gravity, which is either equal to negative 9.81 meters per second square or negative 32.2 feet per second square, if upwards. The reason for that is, pag binabato natin siya pataas, wherein ang pull ng gravity is kumukontra sa atin. At pinapull niyo yung matter na yun or object na yun downwards to the center of the earth kapag upward rin wala tayong final velocity since pag yung bola ay nag reach sa pinaka highest peak nya wala na siyang speed pag downwards naman ang gravity ay nag favor sa atin since tinatulungan tayo ng gravity na mag bumilis yun yung nagsisilbing acceleration natin Kaya positive 9.81 meter per second square na. Tapos ang mawawala naman sa atin dito is ang ating initial velocity. Kabalik na lang. Since na nag-start sa peak niya. Dahil like, pag nag-start tayo sa peak, ang initial velocity natin doon is zero. As we go downwards before reaching our... Before reaching the ground or where it should be catch, doon yung pinaka... Mabilis na point niya or our final velocity. Magbibigay lang dito two examples to explain how different linear vertical motion is from linear kinematics na horizontal plane lang. So, natapos na ako i-discuss ngayon kung ano yung mga difference ng free fall vertically and horizontally. Horizontally. If you want to go back muna, go back muna before ako mag-move sa next examples. Hindi naman siya ganun kahirap, but it can be do sa last example kasi medyo mag marami dong variables na pinagsama ko na based sa ating kinematic equation mixed with this free fall. Ang pinakas pinakamadali is free fall. Bakit? Dexematic automatically given na tayo ng ating acceleration which is always 9.81. Pero it can be dependent sa inyong prof friend. Dahil kasi, may ibang professors, nag, ang ginagamit is just 9.8 or 
0.805 meters per second squared. So, please note that before answering any equations. Maliban doon, sa ating given acceleration na, pwede rin tayo mabawasan ng final, either final velocity or initial velocity, depending kung upward or downward. Kaya, kailangan natin tandaan na kapag upwards, wala na tayong final velocity, and kapag downwards, wala na tayong initial velocity. So, moving on to our problem number 4. Problem number 4 states that Bumblebee jumps straight upwards with a velocity of 12 meters per second. What is his displacement after 2 seconds? So, we are given the velocity na 12 meters per second, 12.0 meters per second, and time. Kung gano'ng katagal siya, and time na 2 meters per, 2 seconds pala, 2 seconds. Ang question dito is displacement or simply our distance. Gano'ng kataas daw siya ang natalo niya within this time and this velocity. So, ang given natin dito is initial velocity of 12 meters per second time of 2 seconds wherein our required is the distance. Simply, ang gagamitin natin dito is our second kinematic equation given that may given na time initial velocity and time tapos ang hinahanap natin is distance so direct substitution lang sinubstitute ko ang 12 natin sa initial velocity and 2 to our time then our acceleration becomes negative 9.81 due to that upward siya since tumalon siya at hindi naman in state napabagsak na siya so, pagtalon niya. So, ang ating acceleration is negative at hindi positive. Always remember na kapag upwards, lagi magiging negative and downwards, positive ang ating acceleration. In this case, ginamit ko ay 9.81 meters per second. Since ating ating velocity ay meters per second, if feet per second yan, ang gagamit ko is yung isa pa na 32.2. Moving on, the direct input lang to sa calculator, then we can get the answer, our final answer na 4.38 meters. Ganyang katas ang tinadal ni Bumblebee within that 2 seconds given that siya itang travel 12 meters per second after he jumped. So, Tapos na tayo sa problem to. Moving to our next problem, problem number 5. States that Princess Toadstool stands on the edge of a 50 meter high cliff. 50 meter high cliff. She throws Bowser upwards at 15 meters per second. If Bowser falls all the way to the bottom of the cliff, find his velocity when he hits the ground and the time it takes to hit the ground. So, given tayo dito ng Ng, ng height ng cliff wherein dun daw nakatayo si Princess Toad's tool which is 50 meters ngayon naman daw si P Princess Toad's tool binato niya daw si Bowser with an initial velocity of 15 meters per second upwards ngayon daw ang hinihingi sa atin is vel final velocity and time it takes before hit hitting the bottom of the cliff this problem, kailangan natin i-take into account yung height ng cliff. Assuming that, na give, given that, na 15 meters per second lang ang meron tayong given, which is our initial velocity. With that, ito ang ating given. Initial velocity na 15 meters per second, height ng cliff na 50 meters, and the required natin is final velocity and time. Una muna natin hahanapin is the distance using our third kinematic equation na formula. Yung distance na yun is yung distance na travel niya upwards. Given that it will travel upwards, ikakancel natin si final velocity. Dahil wala na tayong final velocity when the object travels upwards. Dahil when it reaches its peak, siya ay magiging zero. 
Ngayon naman, as you can see, naging negative yung ating initial velocity. Naging negative siya since in-isolate natin si D at nilipat lang natin si initial velocity sa kabilang side. And, si so 2A, dinivide lang natin. Para malipat rin sa kabilang side and ma-isolate natin si D. Now, simply, input the values which is 15, our initial velocity, and negative 9.81 as our acceleration. Since upwards nga ulit, dapat siya ay negative. Then, calculate na lang, and our the distance it traveled from Princess Toadstool hands to the highest point is 11.46788991 meters. That's our distance from Princess Toadstool. Next naman, Using the third kinematic equation again, ang hanapin naman natin dito is the final velocity. Since may distance na tayo nakuha, take into account na natin yung height ng cliff. Since ang, ang final velocity natin is taking into account at bago siya tumama sa bottom of the cliff. As shown here. Since squared rim pala ang final velocity, kailangan natin i-square itong kabilang side. As you can see, same with our last prop with our problem number 3. Inad natin si D k plus k50. Like I say, yun yung height ng cliff. So our final equation for now is final velocity is equal to square root of vi square plus 2a times distance plus 50. Ngayon, substitute all the values wherein dal downwards na positive 9.81 na. And, kinansal natin na rin ang VI since downwards. We don't have initial velocity when the ball is going downwards. And, given the distance na na-compute natin here, yun ang i-input natin na i-add natin sa 50. So, all in all, 2 times 9.81 times 11.46788991 plus 50. Wherein, their answer should be square root. And makukuha na natin ating final velocity when it reached the ground na 34.7275-1071 meters per second. Exactly. Next naman is time. Pwede na, dalawang equation na pwede natin gamitin dito. You can use either the second or the first climatic equation. But to simplify, we're just gonna use the first since mas madali and already time consuming time consuming na ang pagsolve nitong equations ng dalawa so sa paggamit ng first since downwards cancel ulit natin ang vi then isolate natin si si t si time so i-divide natin si a so final velocity over a is equal to t then sim simply input your final velocity na nakuha nyo kanina over the acceleration downwards which is 9.81 kaya positive then makukuha na natin ating time it, which is 3.54 seconds estimated or as you can see the, uh, the exact value so ganyan yung katagal inabot ang bola bago siya mag tumama sa ground with a height of total of almost 61 meters. This is one of the most complicated formulas or isa sa mga pinakamahirap pag starter ka pala sa kinematic equations. Pero the more na nagsasolve ka ng mga related questions like this or mga bag mga kinematic equations, masasanay ka at masasanay and mas makapag-solve ka ng mga problems. So, uh, nag-highly suggest ako na maghanap rin kayo sa internet na mga, mga worksheets or from our club, Aghamalayan, para ma-practice nyo ang pag-solving skills nyo. With that, may bonus practice questions ako. In the right-hand corner, may link dyan for some 2D kinematic equations. Yung pinakita ko kasi ay one-dimensional lang. Yung 2D kinematic equations is like vectors. 
Pwede nyo sila gamitin as practice for solving problems like this. Maliban dun, if you need more mentoring or worksheets, you can always come to us at Aghamalian or message us in our Facebook and Twitter accounts. So dun nag e na ang lesson about linear kinematics. Ulit, ako po si Cedric Lawrence Bay nito. If may tanong po kayo, lapitan nyo lang po ako. Thank you.